I was introduced to it when I was nine years old, which at the time was the average age of introduction, but it's dropping quite uh, significantly since then. My name is Tyson Hodge and I'm a male, which means I struggle with pornography, just like uh, the high percentage of most males, even Christian males. And I even know it's a, it's a growing percentage with females as well. So I, I dealt with pornography all the way into college and um, it was, of course, a struggle. It's, it's becoming common knowledge that pornography affects the brain a lot like addiction. And it was an addiction that I really struggled with and, and couldn't get out of. Um, and uh, I kept it hidden because of course I was going to church and couldn't let people know. And I was going to youth group and I had to look the part and play the part and make sure everything was, was good there. Um, and so I remember in high school at really proactively trying to, to shake this addiction and trying to do it on my own and doing uh, everything I thought I needed to do to, to stop it. And it, it, only, it only stuck around, and it only got worse. And it wasn't until college that God gave me this kind of uh, vision that this this kind of um, foresight that if if I didn't if I didn't put a stop on this it was going to destroy my life and it was going to destroy my marriage and it was going to destroy my kids and it was going to just continue to wreak havoc and so really it was it was fear of that 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 godly fear that that um, gave me the, the courage, the uh, desperateness to go and, and confess to somebody. So I, I found an accountability partner, uh, a person who I told everything to, I told him what I was doing, who uh, was able to help me. And it was a, a long fight to, to finally get free of it. Um, and what was really difficult what, what, what was really hard was, was feeling the isolation, feeling that I was in this alone and I couldn't let it out and just having to deal with it um, on my own. And that's exactly where Satan wanted me. That's exactly what he wanted me to believe so that I would keep it hidden, keep it concealed and, and stay in that bondage that he had for me. So finally, where God came into the story was when I really believed His Word and really believed in confession and that it was for me and that um, confession was necessary and uh, the body of Christ was necessary for me to, to get help in, in fighting the sin and overcoming what Satan had put me in, the, the bondage Satan had put me in. So I, I choose to be I choose to be open and public with my with my struggle because one that gives uh, strength to my fight and helps me fight even stronger the temptation and, and to stay free. Uh, but two because I want to be able to communicate to those who are in the battle themselves and struggling on, uh, by themselves who are believing the lies of Satan that they have to do this on their own and they have to keep it hidden when. When you, bring, when you bring it out and confess and seek accountability and help with the body of Christ, that's when freedom comes.